One second. Oh, right, one second. We are live. We are live. How exciting is this? So, hello, Facebook. Um, this is Matt Formers coming from the uh, Museum of Science and Industry in Manchester. Home, if you get the chance, do come here because this is home to Major Tim Peaks, uh, Slayer's uh, descent vehicle. It's literally been in space, it's, it's just literally around the corner from it. And this got me thinking, right? This got me thinking about maths and how maths is used in space. Um, mainly trigonometry. Right, so, for example, a satellite is hammering its way towards uh, Jupiter and it takes a photograph of two of the Galilean moons and you want to figure out how far away you were from these moons. You could do that using trigonometry. Pythagoras in particular, which is what I wanted to talk to you about. I know you're thinking, eh, just build something. But I wanted to kind of give you an idea of Pythagoras and, the, and how this works. Now, Pythagoras, Greek fellow. Um, was the idea of uh, surrounding right angle triangles. Now I've made a little right angle triangle here. I know it's a right angle because I've got 90 degrees in this corner. Directly opposite is the longest side, which is referred to as the hypotenuse. Longest side of a right angle triangle. And Pythagoras states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Or, you know, how uh, you, you probably guys probably learn it in school now, it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now, I could never get my head around what that actually meant, so I'm going to teach you in a really simple way. So, squared. First of all, what does squared mean? A square number is a number times by itself. So, like, 3 times 3 is 9. Or, I take 3 and I turn it into a square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Funny enough, that's why it's called a square number. So I do the same with 4. 4 times 4, or I turn 4 into a square. And of course the final one would be 5. 5 times 5 is of course 25, or I literally turn it into a square. So, let's go back to our, our man in the field, Pythagoras, his Greek father who kind of came up with this idea. I'm going to recreate my right angle triangle. And there we are. Beautiful. Now you know it's a right angle triangle because we've got 90 degrees here. There's our right angle. Directly opposite is the hypotenuse, the longest side of the right angle triangle. And Mr. Pythagoras stated that the square of the hypotenuse was equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Or how you guys learn it in school nowadays, a squared plus. B squared is equal to C squared. And just to put this into context for you, the first man on the moon was sitting there using maths as simple as that. So, if you're out and about over the next two days, do pop in today in Manchester Museum of Science and Industry. I will be here, we've got a nice fun workshop going on. And also, just do come along and check out Major Tim's uh, Sawyer's vehicle thing. It's amazing, it's really, really cool. And it has actually been in space. You can, you can, I don't think you can touch it, but you can literally you can, like, almost touch it. No, <laughs> there's a lady behind the camera shaking her head. You're not allowed to touch it, but you guys come and check out. Anywho, um, we'll see you soon. And um, that's a bit of uh, Pythagoras for you.